I'm all for Christmas All the happy smiles and the wishes And I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe show you around the house actually I want to say this today's video is in collaboration with Davia Lane you guys go on over after you're done watching my video and check her channel out I will have everything in the description box pertaining to her channel so you guys can go there click the link and you'll be right there also don't forget to um, support the other ladies who are in collaboration with us because they're showing you guys their homes i'm sure they're beautiful so don't miss out by not clicking the link and checking them out as well so as you come in the front door by the way babe is my cameraman of the day he's a part of this show but anyways i want to show you guys the foyer um over here in this section is just a small bench with a little garland and i just added a reach to it with a red um, bow to give it a pop of color and these this little wood um, tag that says joy to the world right here so i kept it really simple here over here in our dining room area is our front tree so i call this tree um old christmas tree because it's an old christmas tree that my mother-in-law gave me and instead of her throwing it out i felt like i could you know Keep it and you know keep it in the family and just make it like an antique Christmas tree. These ornaments on here are kind of old because they were from some years ago when we did um, gold and silver at our own house. And these are some old um, deers that they got from some customers when he used to do cable or fiber optic. He used to do that and this lady gave him these um, deers and I always show you guys those deers because I don't know it just means a lot because the lady was a little old lady and she asked him do you believe in God and she said, he told her yes and then she gave him those so I always want to keep those in the house during this time of the year so over here you guys is my office I love 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 my office because it's so girly and just shabby chic and I just love it so I just added a simple small tree to the corner here. That's an old, old ribbon as well. Um, if you guys have been following the vlog, Babe told me that I should throw that bow away. But look how nice it looks on the tree here in the office. It's just an elegant piece of ribbon that we got many years ago from Michaels. And don't ever throw your stuff away, you guys. And up here on my desk, I just added these little um, glitter trees to it just to add some more Christmas feel in, in this area here. Kept it nice and simple, but you can tell it's Christmas time. So come on, I'm going to take you guys to our bathroom. This is like our guest bathroom downstairs. So in here, it's more like a cozy cabin theme. I'm doing like a lot of neutral colors in here. That's just an old slate from last year. It says, wash your hands, you filthy animals. I have this cute little woodsy, rustic kind of snowflake. It's made of wood. And I have the burlap garland with um, the um, buffalo check ribbon going through. And then I added this little tin can that I got last year at Goodwill here and just set my plant that's normally there. There. On the sink area is just a small wreath with a red bow and the peace sign um, there as well. And that's it for the bathroom. Okay, so follow me out. Now we're gonna go into the family area. Um, oh, also I just added this little, like a pine cone wreath, but it still has that rustic feel to it. So I just put it on this closet door here to, you know, make it feel like 
Christmas, I guess. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna start going into the kitchen, but first, before we actually go in the kitchen, I wanna show you guys my little buffet and what I did to it. You guys, this is the old frame that I repurposed and I just put a nice old, well, it's an old wreath, and I added some little fairy lights in it to make it shine, and I added the garland around the frame to give it that Christmas feel. And then also here is my three-tier tray that I did a video on. If you guys haven't seen how I did this, you guys, I will leave a link or a tag at the top so you guys can go check that video out. And right here you'll find Jimmy. That's our friend for the holiday. He's actually a family member of ours. He just pops in during the holidays and then he leaves. But this is that area, you guys. I thought it turned out really, really nice. So over here, is a wreath that's always here and I just added a buffalo check bow to go along with the thing that I'm having throughout the house and uh, baby you can show like the kitchen area at the top there is just a Merry Christmas sign that's on top of the refrigerator on the counters there is just a glass bowl with, or a glass, I don't know what that's called, but I put ornaments in it. And that's just a sign that says, eat, sleep, chill, repeat. Um, some Christmas trees that I got from Hobby Lobby on um, both sides of the stove so that, you know, it just gives you that pop of Christmas there. So over here on my island, I have my Mrs. Myers clean um, hand soap, the scent peppermint scent, and that's the hand soap and dish soap, and I added just a little piece of um, greenery there, um, so that's my sink, you guys. Over here is my little coffee station. I wanted to do like a hot chocolate station, but we drink coffee around here, even though I do have hot chocolate, I brought some for the kids, but babe and I drink a lot of coffee, and the kids they don't bother with it anyway, so I just kept it the way it is and added some Christmas feel to my little tray here. We have our little Santa Claus from last year. I got him at Target, I believe, and um, I added some little trees there with an old red car. It's really an ornament, but I feel like ornaments do really well with just adding extra pieces to certain things like trays and things like that. And this little um, picture that I got here, that was like something I got for $2 at the antique store a couple weeks ago. This is a wood bead that I made a few, well, it's been a while, some months ago. And it's just like a little red and white bead garland that I made and draped there. So over here on our island, I have just a long piece of garland going all the way across the countertop or the island just to add that Christmas feel there and of course I have my marshmallows there and I added a nice buffalo check bow on top to just to make everything stand out all right so over here you see on the stairs we have our garland coming down the stairs and our Christmas stockings that are there and um, yeah we just kind of kept it simple my lights went out over there, but we're just gonna keep things moving right along. Right here is my sign that Babe broke, but he restored it for me. He said he didn't break it, but I don't know, I think he did. So anyways, here is a Merry Christmas pillow on this little bench that I have here, and it's just sitting there to add more color to this area. And over here is my table. This is what my tablescape looks like this year. It's just some glitter trees. I added um, a small wreath around this little um, canister or I don't know what you call this, but I suppose you can put a candle in there. I haven't done that yet, but I will. A flameless candle. Um, and here's our beautiful tree. I'm so happy we were able to um, get a Flocked tree this year as opposed to the green tree that we always have so finally we were able to find one and here it is I think it turned out so so nice I went ahead and used 
all the items that I had last year and buy new things like I really wanted to but it was nice because everything looked a little bit different because of the flocked tree and the skirt is a buffalo check skirt I believe I got that from Hobby Lobby with some little reindeers on it and I love the way the tree looks because it's like an old rustic look it has like that cabin feel which I love it's nice and cozy and at the top, you guys, is a bow that I just made and put up there last year. It's a buffalo check. Here is our mantle. Um, you guys, I think it turned out really nice. I went along with the buffalo check theme as well. We got our little reindeer that we got. Uh, I think I got that from an antique store the year before last. And um, I just added a ribbon around his neck. We got the lanterns there with some Christmas ornaments. Oh, I forgot to turn on the, I forgot to turn on my lights. So let's turn those candles on you guys. So there we go. So those lanterns came from at home, oh, about five years ago. And they come in handy around the holidays. On the top there is on the top here is my garland that I created. Um, I just added some buffalo check and some little poinsettias there along with some um, ornaments to go along and add more, um, you know, just add more of a touch of Christmas on the garland. And here is the Christmas sign that I made from Christmas in July. And it just says, it's the most wonderful time of the year. And that's the gift box set that I got from the Goodwill last year. And it's perfect for the fireplace where it's at. So there is our fireplace, you guys. Here's our table. This is what I went with. I kept the table simple by just using the red flowers that I got um, a couple years ago, or a year before last for my anniversary. And I added the glass trees there with the glitter and left the, I left the candle holders there with the white candles just to add that woodsy feel. I didn't do anything on this table right here because you guys, I'm still working on the house and once the Christmas stuff comes down, I don't know what I'm gonna do because it's really gonna be empty at that point. But over here is our couch. Let me show the couch back up. So here I just added um, a pillow with a nice throw that I got from um, TJ Maxx. And I felt like this was like the perfect throw for the couch because it had the cute little Christmas trees and I love the color and the little fringes on the end. It's a nice and cozy feel in here and I'm just happy the way it feels in the house and how cozy it is and how Christmassy it is. This is our first year in this house, so I'm so excited about spending time here with the family and creating memories here um, in our home for Christmas here in our new home. You guys, before I end it, I wanna show you guys Maya's room. She decorated her room for Christmas too. Do you want me to show you there? Get up, hurry up, this is a home tour, not a vlog. All right, <laughs> you guys, I'm gonna show you Maya's room. I think she did a great job decorating her room. So look at Maya's room, guys. She has her little Christmas lights. So over here in the corner, she has her little tree. She's stuck in this corner here, which came out really cute. She added some little ornaments and a cute little Merry Christmas sign. She got some little lights going across her bed. And over there, some more lights that she strung up and on her dresser over here. She has some little Christmas lights just kind of laying across the top, which looks really, really cute, you guys. Hey, good job, son. All right, you guys, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed our house tour. 
I hope that you guys enjoy this holiday season with your family and friends, creating memories and just spending time together with one another. And also I encourage you guys to go on over to check Davida Lane's channel out and I want to give her a big thanks for always including me in her home collaborations. I love doing this. It's so much fun. Don't forget to check out the other ladies and support them as well. And thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.